Hello everyone, today we'll learn how to calculate ratios in Excel. You can see that I have collected uh, four years amounts of confidence in limited. So uh, there's a balance sheet and income statement. So from this we'll find out the ratios using this formula using the formula. So let's start with current ratio. What is the formula of current ratio? We need to find out current ratio for these four years. So we're gonna start with 2013 and the formula is uh, current asset divided by current liabilities. Now let's find out current asset from 2013 which is in B4. B4, okay? So before putting them into a formula, you need to know that always put the equal sign first while you're going to use uh, any formula in Excel. So the formula is total asset, sorry, current asset, current asset divided by current liability and current liability is in B4. So press the first bracket and enter B4. So as you can see that is all marked already marked when you type b4 in in 2013 box so b4 divided by current asset divided by current liability which is in b b5 so b4 divided by b5 b5 close the bracket press enter you get the calculated amount okay now you can increase after decimal and before uh, you know reduce this decimal amounts <clears throat> so now what you're gonna do are you going to put this b4 and b5 uh, uh, to find out the 14 2014's amount or uh, in 2014 you, you put c4 divided by c5 in 2015 d4 uh, d4 divided by d5 no you don't need to put the formula every time so once you have calculated 2013's uh, current ratio you can see that there's a dot right when you uh, press 2013 result you, you see the dot so uh, press the dot and uh, drag it to 2016 and leave it and you get the calculated result automatically now if you put uh, if you press the result of 2014 you can see here the formula is same just the you know column is changed like uh, before in 2013 the amount was the 13th amount was in b4 b column so it's well, it was b4 divided by b5 in uh, but 2014's column is different is c so it should be c4 divided by c5 right so it's already uh, ultimately calculated so this is the fun of excel the formula of quick ratio is equal to current asset minus inventory divided by current liabilities so current asset is b4 so put the uh, press into the equal sign and then uh, first bracket b4 minus inventory let's find out inventory where it's is in b6 so b4 minus b6 close the bracket divided by b5 b5 can't level it okay press enter get the result and drag it right first leave it and you get the calculated result the total debt ratio is equal to total asset minus total equity divided by total asset let's put the equal sign first first bracket total total asset let's find total asset is in b9 okay you can see here b9 so b9 minus total equity which is in b11 so b9 minus b11 divided by total asset so b9 minus b11 divided by b9 enter 
drag it right first, leave it, and get the calculated amount. Now, debt to equity ratio is equal to total debt divided by total equity. Where is total debt? Total debt is B12. So, B12 divided by total equity. So, equity is in B11, right? B12 divided by B11. Enter. You get your result. Drag it right first and leave it and you get the calculated amount. Inventory turnover is equal to cost of goods sold divided by inventory. Okay. So let's find out where it is cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold. Yeah, it's in B17, right? So type B17 divided by inventory, which is in B6, right? enter get the result in the same way drag it rightwards and leave it and get the result total asset turnover is equal to sales divided by total asset so where is sales here is sales b19 so you can see here right so equal sign first bracket b19 divided by total asset which was which is in b9 so b b b19 divided by b9 sorry b9 enter you get the result the same way you get the calculated amount for the rest two years so this is all guys thank you very much for watching this video if you have any uh, further questions you can you know write it in the comment sections and before leaving this video please do subscribe my channel thank you very much